By 2050, we will have over 10 billion people on our planet, up from around 7.5 billion today. To feed everyone then, we will need to produce 70% more food. And we are already consuming the equivalent of one and a half planet Earth's worth of natural resources a year. We will need to produce more food over the next 30 years than we have had in the past 80,000 years combined. This is a momentous challenge for our industry and our world. And this challenge lies at the heart of Nutreco's mission of feeding the future. Feeding the future in a sustainable way that protects the welfare of people, animals and the environment will require us to take our business to the next level, nurturing breakthrough innovation. We will do this alongside our existing business of supplying the highest quality nutritional solutions to customers in the animal agriculture and aquaculture. Today I'm at Kingfish Zeeland in the Netherlands, a company that we have invested in through our investment team New Frontiers and a company that shares our belief that to produce the healthy food that we need without destroying our planet, everything we do must have sustainability front and center. Kingfish Zeeland supplies yellowtail kingfish to the US and European markets, grown not in the ocean, but in what we call RAS, recirculating aquaculture systems. These are land-based aquaculture facilities, like the ones behind me, that grow fish from eggs through to adults. This is done in tanks that cycle water through a filtration system so it can be used again. And they can build them anywhere with controlled conditions suited to the fish. Take yellowtail kingfish for example. If I want to buy the fish in Europe today, it will be shipped in from suppliers in Japan or Latin America with a sizable carbon footprint. Kingfish Zealand aims to build a RAS facility in Europe and one in the US, close to urban hubs, to ensure easy and low carbon access to this tasty fish. Kingfish Zealand currently produces around 500 ton of fish a year, but has a longer term plan to increase this to 5,000 tons in Europe and up to 15,000 tons in the US. As a global population, we are already using our marine resources to the limit. We believe that breakthrough innovation like those I've mentioned today are a safe way to increase the amount of protein available at a reduced impact to the environment, which is good for us all.